Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation Network. Last time, we went to the uh, town of Ulira, or Ulra, or something to do with Rose. Uh, okay, Ulara. There we go. And we uh, met uh, Melbu Frama's sister. Uh, I can't remember her name. It was, uh... The heck was your name? I don't remember. But anyways, uh... Oh, Charlie. Or Charlie, or whatever. But yeah, we met, uh... His sister, and she told us that there was more, uh... Moon signets. Moon signets, or whatever they're called. Uh, that we can find in order to counteract Siegfeld's plan to awaken the moon child. So we're gonna go try to find those. Uh, as you can see, I switched up my party a little bit here. Uh, the reason why is because on my additions, I mastered uh, all the additions needed to get a uh, Blazing Dynamo for Dart. I haven't managed to pull it off, but I got him on Ultimate War God. Um, I managed to get up to Demon's Blade for Rose, so we just need to work on that eventually. Uh, let's see. Hashel, we're going to be working on him. Uh, Albert, he can do his Flower Storm now. And Maru still has to get to her 4th level edition in order to get to her 5th level edition. So yeah, she's got a while to go. As for Kongol, same de same deal. He's got the ability to use his ultimate, ed ultimate edition, but I'm not doing too good on actually pulling it off. So, yeah. Uh, only two characters don't have their ultimate editions, and we should be getting those eventually. Let's see. Yeah. Um, a couple of things I've done was... Dart went ahead and got himself an extra Ultimate War God. I went to Lohan and got one, uh, simply for the fact that I've been... Dart's had his Ultimate War God since uh, before Kongul and uh, Rose and Albert had theirs, but I can't get past the third damn hit on the damn thing, so it's kind of pointless to not have it and not be able to use it. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to level it up with the Ultimate War God to the maximum level and then either switch over to either switch over to uh, Moon Dance or whatever that one was. Uh, which one? His fourth one, the good one. Uh, Crush Dance, there we go. Switch over there since it has good damage and SP or I might just keep him on the Ultimate War God. So I'm not sure yet. On the one hand it reduces a accessory slot and you can't really use the ultimate weapon for him but on the other hand you still get really good damage so either way anyways let's head into flits and I'm surprised it's not asking me to switch the disc because I went to low hand and it said yeah you gotta switch the disc so I thought because uh, I am on disc 2 right now. Yeah, I guess it won't make me do it. Or at least not yet. Let's see, I think we gotta go to the castle, I think. Feel free to buy any items and stuff you need now, like uh, from the item shops here. Uh, there's not a whole lot that you should be needing. Uh, if you want to go to Lohan and get some uh, accessories, feel free. Like I said, I picked up the Ultimate War God since I had the extra cash. But you don't have to. It's just uh, where we're going to be going. Where there's not going to be any shops for a while, so now's your chance. I think there might be some in the town coming up, but after that, there's a bunch of dungeons where there's not a lot of uh, shops. Well, thank you. Well, they're all standing to get attention from me, aren't they? Oh, there's a welcoming party and everything. Uh, seeing me off to where? Oh yeah, that's why we gotta we gotta go to Rouge, don't we? Uh, Hashel's hometown. Yeah, it'd be kind of bad for business if the world's gone. Yeah, we're JRPG heroes, that's what we do. 
we do it when we have to, we do it in our spare time, we do it for fun. And the only money we ever get is from the monsters that we kill, surprisingly. We never get fat rewards from the kings we help. I mean, every once in a while we do. Like in Infinite Undiscovery, they gave me a hundred grand or something like that, but a lot of games just be like, nope, go finance it yourself. Or your parents will give you like 20 bucks. Well, bye ladies. It was nice knowing you. Albert, if we stay the night, you might as well get some before you go. Alright, uh, these two doors, uh, they're going to both lead to the same uh, spot, which is going to be the the dock. And are you ever going to make me switch discs? No? Oh well. Well, it's not really an unknown land since it's Ashell's hometown. It's well, unknown, unknown to everybody except for him. Alright, so before you get on the boat here, like I said, you're not going to be able to come back for a while, so make sure you got everything you need, and then just board the boat if this kid ever shuts up. Oh, and there she goes. She tells us. Then again, I've got plenty of items and stuff, so I think I'm fine. Well, that's my whole intention. going. There's no items here, at least not that I know of, so just don't bother searching anything. And battles, yay. Of course there's battles. Why wouldn't there be battles? I think these are all battles that we've seen before. But, I want to check out my new additions. Or, at least darts. Ooh, it's a rainbow bird. And you run away. That was fast. I hate you. I think he's the one that gives a lot of experience. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Either way, he either gives a lot of experience or a lot of money, which would be useful, but, oh well, screw him. Let's see, how far are we from our... Okay, I guess you can't check the map on here. Alright, come on, give me another rainbow bird that's going to run away. Or an uh, octopus thingy. Have we fought this guy? Glare? Uh, I think we have. I think we have. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I'm probably not going to hit all this with Maru since I haven't used her for a few days. So let's hope I do decent here. Yeah, I got him. Nice. All right, let's check out Dart's Ultimate Edition. Yeah, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna ever master that damn thing. Dart, looks like you're gonna be on Ultimate War God for a while. The good thing about the Ultimate Editions, though, is once they're mastered, they're gonna have ridiculously high, uh, ridiculously, ridiculously high stats. Okay, like, uh, 
Darts Ultimate ed Edition, once it's finished, it's going to have 450% um, damage and 150 SP. Uh, let's see. Whatever whatever 150 divided by 8 is. Let me see something here. I want to check something real quick. Alright, 150 divided by 8 equals... Okay, so even if I only hit like the first 2 or 3 hits, that's still like... Yeah, like 20 or 40 or 60 SP and okay 450 damage divided by 8 so let's see even if I only hit the first 3 hits it's still like 170 damage so what I might end up doing is what I might end up doing is uh, after mastering them just try to take off the ultimate war gods and see how well I do just on uh, trying to get them see how much damage it does without a full hit because it'll probably still do a fair amount of damage because it'll be as powerful and as SP awesomeness as the other additions that are already maxed out so hey, either way I, I might just stick with the ultimate war god I might give him the soul eater and just have to heal him a lot okay there's disc four Yes, it's, it's prompting me to switch it. Not sure what that drawing is supposed to be. Um, I guess it could be the moon. Like a crescent moon or something. I can't tell. Speaking of telling, can you guys tell how clogged up my nose is right now, or do I sound okay? Because my nose is... really stuffy. At least it's not dripping down my face, so that's always good. This is a neat little seaside village. I like it. It's got little uh, thatched roofs for huts. I've always thought it'd be cool to live in a seaside village where fishing is uh, the way of life. Not that I'm any good at fishing. Actually, I don't know if I'm any good at fishing because I've never done it, so. Well, somebody does. He's been long, he's been gone longer than Dart's been alive, shit. Yeah, she's kind of not being found at all. I'm guessing Hashel is about 60. Uh, let's see. His daughter ran away. I'm assuming at roughly... I'm assuming at between the ages of 16 to 20. So let's just say 20 just on the, on the outside edge. Um... Uh, she had Dart at some point, and Dart's roughly 18 or 20, so let's just say 20 again, so that's 40 years. And I'm assuming Hashel had Claire when he was like 20-something, so he's at least 60. He might be like 55, but he's getting up there. Yeah, I couldn't handle his training. We're here on business, old man. Wait, we're gonna fall through the floor? Awesome. Okay, uh, before we go talk to the old man at his uh, residence, uh, we can actually collect a few items. So, let's see, let's head over. I think we want to head over this way. Actually, let me see what this guy says. Ah, eh, screw the practice area. Okay, head over here, I think.
There we go. War God's Calling. Uh, that's just the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, pers uh, the one that increases your hit rate. There we go. How you guys doing? Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Damn it. Oh, well. That sounds like a pretty good life. Fishing and sleeping, fishing and sleeping. I'd do it. Maybe not the fishing part, maybe just the letting everyone else fish. How's a backwater literal backwater town gonna know about ancient uh wingly cities? Heck, they don't even know what wigglies are. Yeah, they're gonna be a lot of help here. There's always old ruins in JRPGs, you should know that. A stick, unless it's like a a redwood, and I don't think it'd be that much help. Oh, so it's like a recent development. Eh, hopefully it is. If not, oh well. Okay, now that we finished talking to that old fart, uh, go down to this ladder right here. Let's see. Is he gonna let me do it? No. Okay, I think he's got. Okay, I think we can go in here now. No? Okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm still try trying to figure out how to get to that chest. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go over here. No, that's where you went out. Uh, where are you? Where? Uh, oh, the ladder. Oh, here we are. This ladder. I knew it was one of the ladders. I wasn't sure which one. Alright, over here we get the Satori vest, I do believe. Ah, very nice. Uh, it's obviously going to be for Ashel. So let's see what it does for him. I think it's one of his better pieces better pieces of equipment. Avoids poison, stun, and arm blocking. Not too shabby. It's got pretty good uh pretty good defenses. I'll take it. Compared to his uh Yeah, we don't really need his SP anymore, so yeah, that's that's much better. So yeah, as for your headband. Yeah, which would I I guess that does have better stats. Yeah, still advanced fine. Okay. Alright. That's good right there. And we still got a few more things to get in here. How you doing, bud? No, I just carried it around just for the heck of it. I've never been a big fan of uh, fist fighters in games. I don't know why. It just always kind of bored me. There was one game where it did it pretty well. It was uh, called Enchanted Arms. It was for the uh, PS3 and the Xbox 360. 
I never beat the damn game, but I like the main character because even though he did use fists. I gotta I gotta get back into that. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my copy though, so I probably gotta rebuy it. Okay, uh let's see. Our goal right now is to find Okay, a stick. And a few items. Um okay, let's head over this way, because I think Yeah, let's head down here. I think it is over here. Okay. Yeah, it's sorry for running around. I just gotta remember where everything is here. It's been a while since I've been here. Okay, we want to find... There's somebody here that we want to talk to. If we can ever find her. Might be over here. Ah, there she is, Martell. Okay, ignore Martell for right now. Uh, let's see, go... Go out here. There's a crate right here. 100 gold. And I think right here, there we go. And there it is, the final Stardust. And conveniently, Martell is right here, so we can turn it in and get to our ultimate reward. That's convenient that she used to live here. Or still does, I guess. Well, hang on, you wanna you want the last time I start us or no? I can't tell if she took it or not. She's twitching. Is that a good sign? Oh, I guess it is. That's not good. Wait, so can she breathe or not? Hey, what are you doing? I want my reward. Guy? Dude? Hello. Let's try that again. There we go. That should be the last of it. Alright. Yep. It's the very last one. There's no more for us to find. If by you collected, you mean we did all the work, yeah, sure. Hey, there we go. That's much better. So she's well. Okay. It's a happy ending. I'm so happy. Now can I have my reward, please? Alright, we get the Vanishing Stone. Um, we're not going to be able to put this to use for a while, but it's going to be the key to defeating a secret boss later. So, I'm not sure if it shows up as a key item or a regular item. I'm hoping it's a key item. That way it doesn't take up a slot in my menu. That'd be nice.
Okay, it appears to be a key item. Okay, good. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna eventually, um, enable us to defeat a boss that we could not defeat before. If you remember back where we fought Lloyd, uh, when did we get, when we went to get the, um, the last item in there after we beat him, I forget what item it was, but, uh, there was that ghost there, and if you ran into him, uh, I didn't run into him since I knew what would happen. Uh, if you run into him without the Vanishing Stone, which you can't get by then, um, you can't beat him. Uh, I think he dodges all your attacks and he's invincible, and you just can't beat him. Uh, we're going to run into him later, and this Vanishing Stone will remove his invincibility so we can actually attack him and beat him. So, collect all 50 Stardust, and you can actually beat that bastard. So it's a good idea to do so if you want to beat him. Uh, he ends up giving you like a... He gives you a whole sh he gives you a bunch of uh, stuff for it. Let's see, he gives you twenty thousand experience, ten thousand gold, and a uh, phantom shield, which is a accessory that reduces all damage by half. So it's pretty good, but he's also very tough. All right, let's go find that island, then, shall we? Let's see. I think there's some shops around here. We can check, but let's, let's see. I think they're through. It might be through here. I don't remember. No, this is where we came in the first time, isn't it? Let's see, where are the shops, anyways? Um, I know the shops are around here somewhere. There we go. Let's see what you got. Let's see. Healing items, which you don't really need too many of, since we got a lot of them. Yeah, you don't got really a whole lot that I want. How about weapons? Anything good over here? You found them in the sea, and you're going to sell them to people. That's kind of screwy of you, guy. Ooh, attack badge, guard badge, giganto badge. Eh, they're pretty good. Um, I don't think we really need them right now, but it's not a bad idea to have one or two, so I think I'm going to grab... Uh, I like the attack badge, so I'm going to grab one more, though. I don't already have one. I just want to grab another one. Alright. Alright, and that's pretty much all you need over here. And move, lady. Get out of the way. Why can't I walk? There you go. Let's see what let's see what this stick looks like. How do you call that a stick? That's like a that looks like a ship, not a stick. Well, from here it looks like a stick. Or a ship. Well from this angle it looks like a ship kind of. I guess it could look like a tower. Yeah, she's been around a long time. She's got plenty of experience. So it's either the Magic City Eglis, the Death City Mayfill, or the Lost City Zedabatos. Okay, so it's a Magical City Aglis. Or Aglis, or however you pronounce it. I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised Meru doesn't know what it is. You would think they would have, like, a history lessons in weekly schools where they would know the names of these things. It's kind of sad that a human knows more than a Winkly about these things, but oh well. I 
mean the birth city? Is that where like everyone who went to everybody went to get give birth to their kids? Was there like a super fancy hospital there or something? Selected to be born? What do you mean by that? So if you looked like you were gonna be crappy at magic, they aborted you in the womb. That's kind of fucked up. So basically, it's hell, or uh, or Tartarus, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, sure. Let's see what. Okay, the Forbidden Land. Let's see what you got to say about that. Oh, because of all the poison from all the uh, magic stuff. Okay, Burst City. I think we just heard about that. We heard about Death City. Okay, what about the Law City? So basically like a Congress then. Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay, so it's like, it was like a, the courthouse then? Kind of. All right. Finally, the magical city of Agglis. We want to see what that is. Not necessarily. I mean, uh, sure, they might have known a lot about magic, but there's always more to know, right? Okay, I guess that's everything we can uh, learn about these places. Oh, well, probably by the boat. Okay, not by a boat. I don't think there's anything else up here. Like, I don't think there's anything up here at all, so... How you guys doing? Yeah, you're just talking about kung fu stuff. We'll find a way. I'm sure we'll find a way. We always find a way. I still don't get why we can't just transform into dragoons and fly our asses over there. If we run out of SP, we can fight those, uh, those octopus or whatever they were. Okay, so they're watching me. That's not creepy at all. How the heck can you tell that? I mean, did you see like a giant eye in the sky watching you or you just get a really creepy shiver down your spine? You mean like, uh, when Moses split the Red Sea or whatever? Whatever sea it was he split? I never really got too far into the Bible. I I tried, but I never got past all the begats, so I never made it all that far. After like the third page of begats, I kind of just gave up. Okay, so now it looks like a giant octopus. Yeah, we found it, and then it found us. That's convenient. All 
Alright, looks like we have a way in then. But, I think we're gonna actually uh, go in there next time since it's gonna be a pretty long area. And we managed to get a few things accomplished this episode, mainly the uh, Stardust and, well, finding our next destination. So next time, we'll go check out the uh, magical city of Aglis. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.